Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the settings that you can adjust within Optifine. Now, if you don't know how to install Optifine, then make sure to watch that first video. A card to that video will pop up on the screen right now. Go click that and check out the video on how to install Optifine. It's actually really, really easy. It's updated because it's only been uploaded about a week ago. So that's really cool. And once you've got that installed, it's time for this video. We are going to be taking a look at all of the settings that Optifine allows you to adjust in Minecraft. So to get started changing settings in Optifine, all we got to do is hit escape, get into options, go into video settings, and here we are. Here's the buttons that we are going to need for pretty much the entire video. So there's a couple of settings up here that I might want to talk about um, in a future video, but that's not for this video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the bottom six or the bottom five tabs here called details, animations, quality, performance. And there's one thing in the other tab that I initially thought wasn't going to be important, but now that I thought of it, it's actually pretty important. So before we get started, I want to get something out of the way that obviously if you want more FPS or are just short on FPS, make sure you disable any resource packs, any shaders that you're using, even low end shaders, even shaders such as Waving Plants version 3.5 that I showcased in one of my uh, first videos, I think. Even that one that only makes grass and leaves wave, even that one takes FPS. So disable all shader packs, disable every resource pack that you're using. It is not true that there are resource packs that will make Minecraft run faster than vanilla Minecraft, so Minecraft without resource packs. That is a complete myth, so don't believe that. Disable any resource packs you have enabled if you're actually really in a need for FPS. So for this video, we are going to be taking a look at mainly these four tabs, details, animations, quality, and performance. And let's get straight into it. This is the details tab. And there's a couple of settings in here that can also be changed normally when just switching from graphic setting fast to fancy but that changes everything and sometimes you don't want that. So it's really cool that Optifine allows you to set these things individually, such as the clouds to either default, which is 3D now, or fast, which makes them flat, and fancy is what actually makes them 3D, and then off completely disables them. That's what I would go for if you actually need FPS. So all of the settings that I'm about to apply are of course for the best FPS. So trees, you can see here that they are transparent, which costs a little more FPS than setting them to fast. So make sure to set them to fast. As you can see, they're no longer transparent, which means you might gain one or two FPS. And now that might not sound like a whole bunch of FPS, but that's because it's not a whole bunch of FPS. But each of these settings could give you like one or two FPS, which means that at the end of the video, you might have gained like 15 to maybe 20, maybe even 30 FPS. Who knows? There was one setting that actually did the trick and made Minecraft run a lot better on your computer or laptop. So we should not disable sky because all it does is remove the blue. Um, and it's mainly for when you're using a resource pack that also has a custom sky and you don't want that sky. That's pretty much all the settings for so you shouldn't mess with that. Sun and moon is also not useful. Rain and snow is also not really really important you could set that to fast it will make it a, a just a tiny bit faster i guess so go for that if you really feel like you need that um things like stars that's not really important but we could turn that off show capes off and then there's fog that's actually one that comes with optifine and is not there without optifine but once optifine installs it's usually set to either fast or fancy and what we want to do is turn it off completely because it's going to cost a few FPS. This is not one of those settings that actually takes one or two FPS, but like a lot more. So now this setting also doesn't do anything anymore. So that's that's pretty good. Um, translucent blocks, set that to fast because that's the best setting you can get. Dropped items to fast. Vignette, I never know how to pronounce that. So I try to pronounce it in some southern southern European accent. I have no idea. But vignette, um, vignette just select fancy i mean fast it's default fancy and you gotta select fast there's never a setting that's better on fancy uh, than on fast so always select fast if there's that option 
So swamp colors should turned off, should be turned off. Um, tool tips don't really do anything. Entity shadows do do things. So disable that. Alternate blocks disable that. And smooth biomes. Oh yeah, alternate blocks is gonna take some time. Some time. I'm sorry. And smooth biomes also turn that off. So we're back here. Let's go into animation. This one is really easy. If you're gonna need FPS, you don't want water to move. You don't want lava to have that animation when when it's like bubbly and all like don't don't step here. Just click all off, click done, and that should be fixed. That should gain you a whole bunch of FPS because every single animation that Minecraft usually has to show you, it no longer has to show you. So next up is the quality tab, which is also pretty important. So if you want some more FPS, disable clear water. Uh, better grass should be turned off. Custom fonts off. Connect connected textures. Um, that also works for vanilla Minecraft, so not only if you're using a resource pack. So connected textures, um, disable that. Custom sky, turn that off. Custom entity, turn everything off. So there's one setting and that's emissive textures. Don't mess with that. I tried doing that and it crashes my Minecraft client. So I don't want to click that. I just don't want to do that because I'd have to re-record this entire video probably. And that will be really, really unfortunate. So I forgot to mention two settings that are up at the top here. That's anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing. That's settings that you also come across in like triple A titles like GTA 5, for example. Um, it also has these settings. And if you're thinking that they're gonna be FPS hungry, then you're completely right. Make sure those are both disabled completely um, for the best performance, obviously. So random entities, all of this can be turned off as well. I'm clicking way too fast because I just want to disable all of this and give you the best settings possible. So we have already come to our last or actually one before last tab, that's performance. And there's a couple of settings here and pretty much what they all do is make Minecraft run smoother and better. But there's a catch. Some of these settings do not apply very well to older hardware or just some specific brands of hardware. This is really weird. Sometimes one of these settings, if enabled, can cause Minecraft to run slower instead of faster. And so instead of more FPS, you get less FPS when enabling these settings. So I would suggest if you um, notice that your FPS are way lower after enabling all of these settings, I would suggest disabling all of them, setting them to off again, and then go one by one and see which one of them does that. And then just leave that one off, obviously, and enable the rest because the rest are gonna do wonders for Minecraft. So smooth FPS is really good, smooth world is really good, fast render, it does what it says, it increases the render speed. Um, fast math actually uh, injects or kind of optimizes some math functions that will, you know, make rendering and stuff more, I guess, optimized and more economic. So. Yeah, that's only good. Dynamic updates is also really good, but this is a setting that is known to make your Minecraft run actually slower, but on some hardware like lower on end hardware, it makes it faster because what this pretty much does is when a player is standing still, so imagine you're crafting something in your base and you're not exploring, so there's no new chunks that have to be rendered, but your game will do that anyways. So it kind of has this buffer of chunks that it doesn't have to load when you actually do go and explore, you know? So it has to do less when you actually do move, and when you don't move, it also renders, which Minecraft usually doesn't do. So lazy chunk loading is only for like your internal server. I don't know the effectiveness of this. I don't. I really don't know. Um, I think I should just leave it off, but you can turn it on if you feel that it makes your FPS faster and um, the one thing that I changed but didn't mention is the chunk updates per frame. If you're having terrible FPS, then make sure to set this to one. If you have, you know, okay FPS, you can set this to two to three. So then there's one last thing, one last tab, and that's the other tab. And I first, when I looked at this, I was like, there's nothing useful for FPS in here. What you can do is show FPS and it doesn't really do anything, it doesn't make anything better, it's just a simple FPS counter so that you don't have to open the F3 menu to actually check your FPS, which is useful I guess. Um, but what we do is useful is this thing here. So say you're, ha you're running a 1080p monitor like I am, and Minecraft is running terribly, terribly bad, you're getting like 10 FPS, then what will sure fix a lot is setting this to something like 720. 
Now I'm mentioning 720, it's because that fits a, a 1080p monitor really well and it's only going to be like a slightly lower quality and it's still going to be very playable but the FPS are going to maybe double or maybe even triple from 1080p. So make sure to check that out if you're actually having terrible FPS and none of the settings in here work for you. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you actually did enjoy this, make sure to hit that thumbs up. A link to Optifine will of course be in the description and as I said before, if you haven't installed Optifine yet, I did a tutorial on how to do that about a week or two ago. So I'll put a card in the video once again and I'll put a link to that in the description so you can check that out and install Optifine and then come back to this video and apply all of these really good changes. So there might be a future video in which I check out the remaining settings in Minecraft that we haven't checked out yet. But um, if not, then this was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this video helped you get a lot more FPS. Make sure to let me know in the comments if this actually worked. And if you have any questions, I would love to answer your questions as many as possible. I seem to be getting a lot of questions, so I can't answer every question I get on every video. But usually normal questions about something not working or something going terribly wrong that should work properly, I will, uh, ju you know, just feel free to ask and I will try to help you out just in the comment section. I don't bother, really. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure to hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. And as always, I will, of course, catch you in the next one. See ya.